Dr. Giovanni Luigi De Maria from Oxford. Uh, we've been working together for a long time. You are expert in QFR and also um, uh, say a loss of interest in the NGO-based IMR. You uh, were the first to publish on this with a, I think, a great publication that got a lot of uh, hits also in terms of uh, references. So that was very, very interesting. Can you say something more about your experience and expectations on QFR NGO-based IMR? Yeah, thank you for thank you for the invitation. First of all, um, yes, as you said, we've been working with and collaborating with Medis on on QFR now for quite some time. Um, we've always been uh, interested in trying to see whether we can have a non-invasive solution for uh, a comprehensive assessment of coronary physiology. So, looking as you said, not just at the uh, epicardial segment, but also at the uh, at the microcirculation. Um, we we saw in QFR a possible, uh, let's say, way to overcome, let's say, the uh, the obstacle of getting a distal pressure, and then yes, and and, and our, our our initial interest actually, we, we did approach QFR with the specific aim of looking at microvascular, let's say, assessment. Yeah. Uh, our interest is been mainly focused on patients with uh, acute coronary syndrome, ST elevation, myocardial infarction. Uh, but I'm fully aware now that there is very much interest uh, in, on these uh, on these topics, spanning also in other possible applications, including patients with stable coronary artery disease or unobstructed coronary arteries. And it's possible that QFR and, and geography derived indices, generally speaking, might find a good application here. Sure, yeah. Uh, we certainly uh, are looking for that and, of course, working with you and others to see what the values and the ap applications are. Um, say that, that the last things that uh, that we are working on also and have discussed recently is also making the um, an objective differentiation between focal and and more diffuse disease. I think yeah, that, that also has your attention, I believe. Yeah, that is true. In fairness, is reflecting also how the um, uh, the panorama is changing. I mean, the more we do coronary physiology with uh, pressure wire based technologies, the more we are become aware that not every lesion is the same, not every disease is the same. And then there is a real need to undertake in a different manner patients with diffuse coronary artery disease and patients with focal coronary artery disease. It is possible the stent is not the right solution for everything. Yeah. Um, and again, with QFR with, or an angiography derived modality, it's still possible to get the same answer um, just looking at the angiogram in a more, let's say, accurate and objective way. Yeah. That's uh, why it's an, our, it's an area that we are interested in. Sure, yeah, and that is, of course, with your feedback, uh, we, we try to come up with new features, get the, the total picture of the patient more complete. Absolutely. And, uh, and, and that is also why this collaboration has been very fruitful, for, I think, for both sides. And we look forward to extend it. Also, we have done a great webinar with uh, Professor Benning that we will also uh, say uh, planning to repeat that also. And very much forward to this collaboration and um, making those webinars also available. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. We're very keen to, to work and collaborate. Great. Well, thank you so much you. For, for this interview. Thanks. Thank you.